technology from where it was to where it is, it has evolved so much. Language has added words to the language which did not exist originally, addressing the needs and the necessities of the modern man. Language has evolved from where it was to where it is today. Lifestyle has evolved from where it was to where it is today. The toys that we enjoy in our life, the cars, the television, the luxuries, the gadgets, the gizmos, has evolved from where it was to where it is today. Each one of us an individual, from where we were born to where we are, we have evolved. And somewhere in the collective evolution of everything that has happened, one thing alone was not allowed to evolve, religion. The way it was unfolded, it remained in the same infancy. As a result, religion did not evolve to address the changing needs of man, the changing needs of the lifestyle of man, the changing needs of the mindset of man. And because this evolution did not happen, one, we either forsake religion. And those of us who did not forsake religion, somehow could not completely align ourselves to the religion. And a few of us, just follow it because it is there, without understanding the science and the depth of the whole thing. I really believe science to me is like an extraordinary resource, but I don't think leadership of the world can be handed over to science. Science by itself in trying to lead the world has caused the amount of devastation that has happened to the world. So I don't think science is capable of being a leader, but an extraordinary resource. Technology. I don't think technology can be leadership. Because technology is a means. It can enhance what is there, but it cannot lead the world. In its attempt to lead the world, an enormous amount of disintegration and destruction has happened to the world. Economy cannot lead the world. Somehow the mind of a man that thinks when it has 10 rupees, does not think the same way when it has 10 crores, and does not think the same way when it has 1,000 crores. Not necessarily it always contributes to his evolution, sometimes even to his devolution. It creates the fall. I really believe all these resources of science, technology, economy, human resources, doing, creativity, natural resources, all this can create an extraordinarily world provided Spirituality takes the leadership role. There has to be spiritual leadership that understands how to utilize all these resources, guide those resources. We need a Clive Lloyd who can get the best out of Roy Fredericks, Gordon Greenwich, Vivian Richards, Alvin Kalicher, and Andy Roberts, Malcolm Marshall. We need a Clive Lloyd. We need a Mahindra Singh Dhoni who is able to get the best out of some of those resources. And I really think that leadership role has to come from spirituality. And if that leadership role has to come from spirituality, that leadership role has to come from India. It cannot come from anywhere else. It has to come from India. If we need a new world, all the resources has to be led by spirituality. If leadership has to be spirituality, leadership has to come from India. And if leadership has to come from India, it has to come from us. We got to lead. It has to come from us.